Welcome to Simplifying Algebraic Fractions. Now, these look scary, they look horrible, but they're not so bad. All right? Now, let's have a look at this one here, first of all, all right? just to get the idea of what's going on. Now, this is easier because everything's multiplied. All right? But chucking a, an ad here, it's, it's yucky. All right? It doesn't work so nicely. But because everything's multiplied, it's not so bad. So let's have a look at things that we can do. If I had 10 over 50, I would rewrite that as 1 over 5. I would simplify it to 1 fifth. If I had 2 over 2 times 2 times 2, I would rewrite that as one of that 2 would cancel with one of those. So the whole thing here is equal to just put a one there, is equal to 1 over, so that's 4 times 5 over 20. Okay, if you don't believe me, take what you had to start with 2 times 10, so that's 20, that's 8 times 50, okay, which is 400. And if you cancel that down, it takes you 1 over 20, right? It's just much harder. And it's because these are all multiplied, right? Change one of those to a plus or a minus. It's, yeah, right? It's harder. All right, so let's have a look. Now consider examples with letters in, right? Now, this, these are all the same. They're all the same sort of strategy that we're looking for. Look at the numbers to begin with, okay? 3 over 21. Now, this only works because everything's multiplying together. So that I can change to 1 and 7 x squared over x. Well, x squared over x is just the same as, as x. We can call that 1 if we want to. So, they cancel. And now, y to the 4 over y to the 5. So, cancelling just this bit here. Remember, just using our rules of indices. Be that. So, let me just write out where we've got to. So, 1 times x and then that's over 7 times y, over 7 times y. Now that's absolutely fine, you can leave your answer like that. Uh, if you want to show off, you could put y to the power of uh, minus 1 there. That's fine, okay, we'll leave it like that. There's different ways that some mathematicians might go and write that down. Right, now this one, what's different? It's that thing. That's the thing that makes it awkward. So what you need to do here is I need to pull out a common factor from this lot here. All right? I'm just looking at the denominator because I want to make the bottom bit, the denominator, something times something. So just leave the top alone. Numerator, 12. Can I factorize the denominator? Okay, so 4 is a common factor. I can take out as well, I could also do this square plus cubed so that's one I've taken all of that out and then so there's two left now I, d I appreciate this one is a bit harder okay and then I've got that's a squared has gone outside so a5 and then b3's gone outside so that'd be b6 now nice little way to test that you've actually done the right thing is that you could just multiply it all out and see if you get back right how has this helped us 12 and the 4. I would write that is 3 over. So the whole answer is this. 3 over a square b cubed 1 plus 2 a 5 b 6. Now that kind of question is a little nasty all right, because of that little bit there. All right. um, if you are following that, that's fantastic. Okay, The main questions that you're going to be focusing on today a little bit more like this first one, and a bit like this one here, all right, this, this guy. What have we got? You recognize this? That was a, an example we did before. That's the difference of two squares. So what you're going to do, when you see something like this, what mathematicians would do when they see this, is that they just rewrite it. And quite often, factorizing makes life easier. 
are going to factorise the bit underneath as well, right? our denominator. What do we get? Okay, now I know you've practiced these, so I'm not going to dwell on how to do that too much. Right, now stuff cancels because it's this times this over this times this. So it's that, those two things cancel each other out. So the answer is x minus 4 over x plus 4. And that's it, which I would hope you would agree is a lot easier than that thing up there. Let's have a look at this guy. Remember, the now the problem here is that plus. So I'm going to look at this bit. I'm going to think about how to factorise it. Taking out a common factor. So what's the common factor? A goes outside the bracket. Number doesn't work here. All right? Numbers have not been kind to us. So just leave those numbers alone. So A can go outside and a B can go outside. Those are the things that are in common. Okay. Now all this is is just tying up all the stuff that you've done so far. So what have we got left inside? We got three and we got one of the A's. And a plus. We've still got the five. That A's gone outside. We've still got one of the B's. And all of that is over seven A B cubed. Right. Can I do any more? Yes, you can, because it's this multiplied by this, divide this. So now I can cancel. I can cancel that A with that one, and I can cancel out B with one of these guys down here. So that goes, and then that changes to a 2. So if I just rewrite this, and fully accept again, not easy. Okay, that's what it should go to. That takes a bit of doing. Okay, bit of practice. Right, last one for you. This guy over here. Right, so I'm looking at this. Okay, it's a T, don't worry, it's T, D, X. Doesn't, doesn't really make any difference. Okay, it's just, just different letters, just make it a little bit more awkward. But again, the problem is that too. So when I see this, I need to rewrite it first. So yes, that is a little bit harder because of that too. So just ignore that bit underneath for a second. All right? just looking at this top bit and thinking about how I write it. So let's write down what we know. I know it's going to look something like that because of that too. I also know that one's a plus, one's a minus, but I don't know which way around they're going to be. So let's just write, write down any numbers and multiply together to give you 45 first. So 1 in 45, not 2, 3 in 15, uh, 4 doesn't work, f 5 in 9, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, I don't need to go any further. Now, one's going to get multiplied by two, and then I've got to have a difference of, of one. Wait a minute, it's this guy down here. Okay, now you could just do this by a process of elimination. You could go through each one. As you get a bit more experience, hopefully you can, you can kind of go to it. Okay, you can identify what you're actually looking for. So, now I've got to work out which way round they've got to go. I'm pretty sure it's going to be this guy down here. One of them gets multiplied by 2, so I want this one to be multiplied by 2. That'll give me 10, and then I've got a difference of 1. Now I've got to get the signs the right way around. Remember, 1's a minus, 1's a plus. I want the answer to be 1. So I want the 10 bit to be the plus bit, the other bit to be the minus bit. So it'll look like that. And now, now let's look at this bit. So... I know that's going to, that's difference of two squares. Okay, we did an example similar to this. So it'd be 2t minus 9, 2t plus 9. Now the way they always design, another way of looking at this, is that if you were a question designer, <laughs> you're going to get something cancelling here. All right, and if you don't get something repeated, it might just make you think, hey, have I missed something? So he's going to cancel with them. There we go. So the final answer is t plus 5 over t plus nine there we go okay so have a go don't be put off by how these questions look i know they look hard all right and just by having a go re-watching this um you're going to make progress with it all right so don't panic about it just make sure that you have a decent go right i know these well you know not everybody's going to find that easy annoyingly some people will storm through it okay but most of us will find that a little tricky to go and do okay there we are
If you enjoyed that video, please like and subscribe or leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. I've been RMS Maths and I'll see you next time. Maths out.